We have developed an undestructible propeller and today we will perform experiments to prove this claim wrong. Everything on an aircraft must have a reason. Ignore the status quo, imagine from scratch and build what you can justify with science. Fail five times to succeed once. This is how we innovate paramotors and for you, understanding the science behind will make you a smarter pilot. On our paramotor adventures, we consume propellers, especially places like Iceland or Saudi Arabia are very unforgiving for the propellers because we take off on gravel and sand a lot of times. The pilot cannot do anything about it. He will kick up a stone on the, on the run and go straight into the prop. So in between the trips, I end up repairing propellers almost regularly. Building an undestructible propeller would be a dream. There are multiple ways how to construct a propeller. Let's start with the E-prop. Those are very lightweight, fun to fly propellers. They spin up very quickly, great for aggressive flying. But as you can see, the leading edge is not very well protected. And if the stone hits the leading edge, it's likely to break all the way to the core. And such damage is not easily repairable or if at all. This is the Helix. It's actually not carbon fiber, but very sophisticated 3D mesh fiberglass fabric. And already you can see that the leading edge, there's a lot more material, so they're more robust, more resistant to stones, and also easier to repair. The last one is a section of the Scout propeller. And as you can see, the leading edge is filled with composite material. So as, as long as the stone bites into that composite material, but not through, it will be very, very easy to repair. Now comes the new thing. This is actually a carbon fiber propeller. It's just painted white, but the black part you see is a two component rubbery material that absorbs the impact, not with rigidity, but with elasticity. I flew this prop in the morning. I did a lot of food drags through sand and gravel and I can hardly see any traces of that massive abuse. So yeah, let's escalate the things and try something harder. I'll be very honest with you, I wasn't sure what the outcome of these experiments is going to be because we received this propeller for the first time yesterday. We just assembled it, made it ready for the dis flight this morning. I only had the words and promises by my friend D Dushan that actually manufactured and designed this prop. He already used this technology for large propellers, for ultralight 100 horsepower Rotax engines. And it was a very successful thing, so we implementing this proven technology for paramotors now. One last thing he mentioned also, that when they screw up the manufacturing process and the rubbery material is applied in the wrong way, it's very difficult to fix it with the sandpaper, that it takes hours and hours to get it back to shape. Let me try that. And I can, I can see the 150 is definitely doing something. But honestly, it isn't that much.
Well, Harrison. Oh, this is. Here I can actually see particle dust dust coming off. So it. So the same paper is a lot more abrasive to pure carbon composite compared to that rubbery stuff. I think this is a thing. Uh, I believe that if you like food drags, this is a prop for you. If you like paramotor adventures, this is a prop for you because this prop will not let you down. Or if you're flying somewhere in Utah or Dubai or any other gravel area, this is a prop for you, for sure. I have to say I'm, I'm impressed with this propeller and I think the, this technology is very promising. And I'm glad we implemented this leading edge onto the Variomatic Pro because the Variomatic Pro is going to be an expensive propeller because of all the sophisticated mechanism. And it's also important that it's not just beneficial to the pilot, but it's also a good value that the pilot can use the prop for years and years and years and it will be long lasting. If you want to be one of the first 20 that would like to have this prop for long-term testing, please register at scoutaviation.com. We start production now. Thank you.